Hello guys, the cold here, and today we are doing a tutorial based on the video that I uploaded. Um, yeah, I, that I uploaded re earlier today, and so this is on how to make real pause, depending on how you do, and depending how good you are with this program here. Yeah, depending on that, you can make some pretty awesome sounding stuff. It's very easy to do the more basic versions of the stuff like the one I uploaded. And so I'll be showing you from the beginning to the end how to make the, these sound files. So first thing you want to do is go to Google Chrome or whatever your thing is. Pretty sure this only works with Windows. It might I might be wrong, but you know, also I have headphone in my ear and that's not fun. So here. So what you gotta do first well, you can do whatever order you want, but you know tell L L M M S into Google Chrome. Go to their home page. Hit download now, and then download either 32 bit, see Linux, Windows, and App Mac. So it, this one works over all platforms. And so if, depending on whether your system is 64 bit or 32 bit, which you can check by going to here, System and Security, and then System, and then you can see all your stats and see whether your computer is 32 bit or not, and all that. So once you've downloaded this, run the installer, do all that. And then next, what you want to do? Go back to Google. So let's go back to Google here. What you want to do? Search Audacity. Audacity download. And then make sure it's on audacityteam.org. And then you know we have it for. Okay, yes, it's only for Windows. I'm pretty sure for this one. Make sure you get the newest one. And then once you have both of these programs installed. What you want to do is open up LMM, LMMS, which means Linux Multimedia Studio, if you want to know. What you want to do is just go into here. It'll be like this. This should be the default what you, uh, thing that you have. So what you want to open is this, the computer icon, instrument plugins. And you can use any of these to do it. What I'm going to use this time, I think, is let's use Free Boy, which is a Game Boy thing. Now you click here, right click it, open in piano roll, and then and that's what you got there. So if you want to just do it really stop with that. If you want to do this really easy, really quickly, and not you know do it by clicking everywhere, all you do is find out where in the keyboard everything is. And then every key on your key, most keys on your keyboard are equal to some sounds. So if you just want to do randomness, do it like that. And then what I can do is this. do so let's take this horrible sounding track make sure no I don't want to do that oh wait whatever let's just take what we have here this insanity we're gonna exit the piano roll and this is all you need here and so what you want to do as well if you want it to repeat itself you can just copy click again right click paste and what you want to do here is click this which exports it and then you want to say go on your desktop and I'm gonna call this freeboy dot wave of course and you save it leave everything here as it is unless you want to change the file type which I don't uh, for me I just leave it everything as it is and then I save it and once you're done that you can exit LMMS and if you want you can save it I'm not going to and then what you want to do is go on your desktop find your thing and then drag it into audacity now what you want to do is make sure you click this option so that way your file doesn't get ruined if you mess up for some reason so this is your audacity thing what you want to do is zoom back out by like to zoom in you left click to zoom out you right click so what you want to do is not do anything that I just did because that was a waste of time and so 
what you want to do is effect, go down, pulse stretch. Now you can do this by whatever you want. I'm going to do this by factor of 9. 10 is the default, which basically makes the thing 10 times longer than it is anyway, normally. Anyway, so once you have everything stretched out, then you can go and cut out all the annoying gaps that you might see that might be too long. Once you're done that, this is what you get. Yeah. So that sounds pretty sick. You gotta admit. And so, you wanna make some pretty freaking awesome creepy music. This is how you do it. So, and then once you're done that, you have to file, export audio. I'm gonna export on desktop, free, desktop, free boy edited, and save it. And then you can leave that alone, or you can put do uh, edit it if you want. Doesn't really make a difference to the audio, so. And once that's done, exit it. You don't really need to save changes unless you really want to. And then, yes, yeah, so that's basically it. So, that's how you make awesome audio very easily, very quickly, with only needing these two awesome programs. So, yeah, I think that's about it for this tutorial. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. I might be doing other stuff soon, so I'll see you guys later. Goodbye! Yes, this is recorded after the video.